easy way for us as a whole community, sustainable Saratoga community, to converse with each other when we're not in these meetings. And so with David's help and a few other folks, we, we looked around at some tools, because why reinvent something if there's something already there? And we found one that we think will work very well for us. It is what's called a Ning site, N-I-N-G. What these people do is provide this platform so that groups like us can make our own, quote, social network, network facility, right? Or network backbone. So on that little ticket that you've got, and we did that purposely, not so that you'd lose them, but so we wouldn't have to kill so many trees, printing things out that you could take with you and refer back to. So when you come onto the site, this is what it will look like. And one of the first things that you want to do if you haven't done so already is sign up. And when you click that sign up, the only thing we're asking for is your email address, a password. You create your own password. You retype the password. It does ask you what your birthday is. We don't publicize that. We don't care what your birthday is. I mean, we're glad you have one every year. But that's something that comes standard with the package. Uh, and so you can put in there whatever. But, uh, and then you'll see that code to the right, and you need to type that code in. And then you sign up. And then you'll be a member of sustainablesaratoga.ning.com. Now that will, whoop, sorry. So that will get you listed in the member here, right? So that you'll have access to that group and you can see everything that's going on. Now, the other sign up that we're asking you to do is this sign up to receive email notifications. We're using a capability called constant contact to make it easy for us to send out an email blast and not get flamed as a spammer, right? And so if you, this was one of the easiest ways I could find to uh, set this up. So you click in there to sign up and then you click that link and here you put in your email address and I'm gonna put in just an email address that I have, just so that you can see how, what, what you're being asked to do here. You will automatically be signed up for general interest. That means when we're doing an email blast to everybody, right, you'll get it. And then we want you to indicate on here, and we are going to have a, a sheet that we're going to circulate where you can also indicate this on a, on a sign-in sheet here. But we want you to indicate here, you know, the one other major area that you want to be heavily involved in or that you want to get routine communication on. You'll be able to come to this site and see what the whole communication is. But the things that you particularly want to have as your primary interest, the only other things that we ask is you make sure you fill out your first and last name and then save the profile and then you will be on our mailing list. So it is an opt-in mailing list. You know, uh, hopefully all of you are getting emails from us now because you've said you wanted to be here. If you go in and, and are already signed up, the database will tell you that. It'll say your email address is already in there. Then you can go in if you desire and modify your profile to indicate what, uh, of those particular uh, sub-working groups that you want to participate in. Right. Yes. We, what we really want people to do is the groups that we've already established here. And there's, there are groups for each of the um, subcommittees. Now, you may notice, and for a short time, or maybe for a long time, we'll have two versions of each group. And you'll notice that some of them are, for example, let me just do a search on farming. And we have two groups, 
right? So there's the open discussion area and then the subcommittee work area. And this work area is intended to be for the subcommittee that is specifically working on the ideas, right? And so that's a moderated group. You ask to join that group. The committee chair brings you into that group. And that way it becomes a bit more private space because you can be working on some things that you're not ready to go public with. Once you get ready to go public with them, you know, then it needs to move over to the open discussion area. And in the open discussion area, this is where anybody who comes in and signs into the site can make comments or leave comments. And obviously we're going to have to be watching that just so we don't get flamers who want to bounce in and, you know, just try and leave things that aren't appropriate there. So, um, there are a number of other things you can do with the site, but really at this point, that's the, the main things that we wanted to introduce you to tonight. This video was produced by wordofmobile.com, Tech Valley's new media services company and a proud sponsor of Sustainable Saratoga. Please share this with your friends and remember, word gets around.